Hi again year one. Here we go with your maths lesson, week five, lesson two. Let's start off with that top marks speech challenge and some more subtraction. Today you need level one again, subtraction, but today you're going to go up to 20 minus the one digit. You choose how long you're going to have for each question and play like you did yesterday, writing your answers on the whiteboard. Don't forget to check your answers afterwards. Make sure you write your numbers the right way round as well. Remember you're just counting back by one, making your numbers smaller. Now back to some more capacity. Again, be prepared to get a little bit wet and to do some cleaning up afterwards. You might want a grown up to help you. Now to start with, I'm just going to use these four containers. I'm going to call this my square bowl. This is my round bowl, Coke bottle, milk bottle. And I'm going to try and predict which one will hold the most water, which one's got the biggest capacity. What do you think? It can be a bit tricky to judge when you've got different shapes like this, but I'm going to go for the Coke bottle holding the most. Then, hmm, what do you think? I'll put it like that. From the least capacity to the biggest capacity. Now I need to test it out with yoghurt pots and see how many yoghurt potfuls of water each one will hold. I didn't quite get it right. The square bowl held nine yoghurt potfuls of water, or thereabouts. The milk bottle held nearly 14 yoghurt potfuls of water. The round one was 11, and the Coke one held 12. Now I've recorded that in a simple table like this, see, and you can see that the milk has the biggest capacity. The square bowl has the least capacity. So I need to reorder my containers. That's how it should have been. From the least capacity to the most capacity. Now find page 21 in your pack. You're going to need a mug for this activity. Lots of water <laughs> and containers like this. You should have most of them around your house. Get filling up the mug and seeing if each container can hold more than a mug full of water or less than a mug full of water. And follow the instructions on how to colour it in. Using your square paper, you could also make a table like this. Obviously though, you're gonna have different containers. You can use symbols or draw pictures down here if you like. And measure the capacity but remember this time you're measuring in mugs not yoga pots now look at your table and can you line up your containers in order from the one that holds the least with the smallest capacity to the one that holds the largest it has the biggest capacity and then get tidying up <laughs> if you fancy a little bit more work to down capacity have a look at the Enrich website. The link is in the emergency Google folder. And you can try bottles one. You can also try bottles two. And more to keep you going over here if you like. Keep up the hard work boys, you're doing so well. See you tomorrow, bye.